Today we have a couple of the usual packages, but also something extra special from another maker. So let's get these two little ones out of the way first. This one is an expansion board module that is probably too big to be an expansion board module. It's all taped up. Headers. Just like those female headers I got recently, I need to restock male headers as well. So I have a bunch of these, and these are the thinner kind of pins. You can get them thicker as well. But these are good for modules because when you want to put them on a breadboard, these go in easily and they have less chance of destroying the breadboard sockets. Here we have a plastic sheet. And what is it really? Looks like 8-pin dip sockets. I've been restocking various sizes of dip sockets lately. So these 8-pin sockets I've been waiting on, I think I ordered them from a couple of places. Just to make sure there's a good chance I'll receive them. So how many do we seem to have? I'm gonna guess there's 50. A lot of these have bent pins as well from the way they were packaged. That's just the expected fallout rate. And now this package from another maker. He sent me some things. We were talking about a few subjects and he said, I got some parts I can send you. Let's see, how does this open? It looks like this is glued down. So let's get all this stuff out. There's a note. Wow, this thing is packed full. Oh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> look at this. We actually have true expansion board modules. <laughs> oh, a little mini cutting mat. That's neat. In there it says, thank you. Well, thank you, another maker. So I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll have to try and figure out if there's a sequence I should be looking at this stuff. So this note says, read last. Okay, we'll put that aside. I don't know where to begin. Is this just packaging? Yeah. Walmart, not a sponsor. Now, this looks like a curious little package. I don't know if I'm supposed to leave that till last. Let's just sort this out. In the meantime, Another maker has not one, but two channels that you should go check out. I'll link to below because he does all kinds of things, including obvious maker projects, but also he talks about how to set up WordPress website stuff. And there's all kinds of neat videos that he's got. So go take a look. You never know what you're going to find. I turned on some more light. So right off the bat, I see this. It looks like an HDMI adapter. I'll lay that aside. And it looks like some dip switches here. I like those. Those are pretty robust. I'm not sure what they belong to. And obviously this little cutting mat looks like it's eight centimeters by eight centimeters in here or three and a half by three and a half inch. And what's this? Looks like level shifter four channel. Low voltage and high voltage sides. So maybe you can put 3.3 volts and 5 volts and convert the logic voltage thresholds. So that will be similar to these eight channel FET base level shifters I've got. Let's see. This looks like a key switch, a single pull, single throw. So that's a panel mount switch you can put into an enclosure and turn something on or off. This looks like a package of various LEDs. So it looks like we have some four pin, five millimeter diameter RGB through hole. And then these look like addressable LEDs. I think I see 19 of those addressable LEDs unless one fell out and there's 20. And what is this? This kind of looks like those component testers. Ooh, the corners breaking off of this display. I don't know if that's required. I'll have to tape that. A piece just fell off down here. 
So it looks like a battery would go here, probably 9 volt. And it does say test, so it looks like maybe you put your components in here and say test, and it will identify the component if it can and tell you the pinouts. That's my guess, but I don't know. I'm just going to try a 9 volt battery, which I don't know if it's fresh or not. So with no component, if I say test, transistor tester, hmm, nothing's on the bottom section of the screen. Is it damaged? So I threw this 0 0.01 microcapacitor, I don't know which pin is which, on the socket. Well, it says capacitor. I can see that there's a different background color here. Is the bottom half of this display damaged or something? I'm running out of space. How do I organize this? Oh! A USB... I forget the names of the types. Is that a Type A? Whatever. The usual plug side, right? To what looks like micro USB. And in here, some sort of a, a Wemos ESP Room 32. All right. Oh, now that's something I can put to use. Get this open. So there's the module info that's on here. 3.3 volt regulator. I can't see any writing on that square chip no matter what angle but it kind of looks like a CP2102 Scilab sort of thing. TP5410. On the bottom we have a battery socket. So there you go. And a slide switch on the side. So this looks like it will come in handy for all kinds of development projects. Has some headers as well. Then there's this box. It's who knows what this is. Movie shield for Arduino. Speech recognizer and synthesizer. Ooh! Quick start guide over here. It barely fits inside this anti-static package, though. Well, ha! <laughs> there you go. Well, hey, you know what? Just ripping the packaging off. This is like Christmas here anyway, so... Okay. Well, what do we have here? So this looks like an Arduino Uno sort of form factor. Of course, I don't know yet if that is what it is, but it looks like it has the right kind of pins in the right kind of locations. This uh, huge old school USB jack is in the way though. I may have to use a different Uno. So there's the bottom. Oh, it's got a memory slot with a card in it. Is that a couple of audio jacks? External mic, all winner tech A13. I've never heard of this. This maybe looks like some kind of memory. So, yeah, <laughs> this is getting uh, more and more fun. I'm gonna have to go to this website, see what this is all about. I've never heard of this. And we still have more. <laughs> this, I see a Raspberry Pi logo. Pi Zero. Yeah, we were talking about. Um, the fact that I wanted to get started with Node-RED and MQTT type stuff, and so it looks like there's an HDMI, maybe a couple USBs, a memory slot with again another card in it, and there's the main chip. So, wow, <laughs> this is great. I don't have one of these. Copyright Raspberry Pi 2016. Wow. Christmas in April. This is unheard of for a mailbag. There's still this mystery package. I assume I can open this before I read this note last. So, let's see. Lenses. Oh, you know what I think is going on here? He has a video, I'll link to it if I can find it, about using lenses and some sort of a PVC pipe or something to focus LEDs so you can use them long distance and do things like laser tag and stuff. I believe we were talking about that and I said, hey, yeah, that's interesting to me. 
So yeah, there you go. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> I think I looked through everything. So yeah, there were two of these level shifters actually. So I, I think I've gone through everything. Let's see what's in this note. Read last. I don't know if the camera will behave, but let's see. Dear Mr. Reboot, I've learned so much from you and your channel over the last year. Your videos have kept me entertained through many flights. Sorry for the loss of ad revenue. <laughs> to make it up to you, and as a thank you, I'm sending you a few, a few random gadgets. You said you were up to repair something. Ah, so I'm sending you a component tester. Ow, 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 that's sharp. <laughs> that display. I'm sending you a component tester with a bad LCD. <laughs> I figure it could become a screen replacement project. Great minds think alike. Stripped for parts, or it has SPI headers on it, so maybe it can be read on an Arduino without the screen at all. I thought the 18650 ESP32 was kind of fun for some sort of data logger UPS project. The movie, is it movie or movie or movie shield, is speech recognition and text to speech. Although I like it for the latter more than the former. The Pi Zero W should also get you into the world of MQTT and Node Red. Yeah, I remember we talked about that, which should truly change your life. Oh, I also included some surface mount and through hole RGB LEDs just to make people mad. <laughs> Either way, it's really fun to give back to someone who has taught me so much. Arms of YouTube United, another maker. <laughs> well, this is probably the best mailbag. This is like three or four months worth of mailbags, and this is certainly going to keep me occupied and entertained for a long time. I can't believe all this stuff. Well, thanks very much, another maker. This is just unbelievable. Yeah, you know, hey, I've been watching your videos about WordPress website and stuff, and even things like those games and laser tag kind of things that you've done, all very interesting as well. So thanks a lot for all of this. Everyone go look in the description and go check out another maker's channels. I'm gonna go get started on some sort of project with this. There's, ah, oh, there's so much I can do. I don't know where to begin. This is great. Movie. Wrap this video up. Thank you very much, another maker, for all this stuff. Everyone go subscribe to another maker, and I'll see you on the next video. Ha <laughs> ha!